guys, this is Wine Nova here, and we are back with part two of Stray the Cat. And you know what? I've been thinking about the name for the cat, and in dedication to my dad's old uh, boxer named Stray. No joke on that. If anybody wants to hear the story, I think I might have explained it to um, one of the stories in the in the other games or commentary at least but or like live stream um be sure to ask the questions in the comments and i'll definitely explain but i'm thinking of naming the cat stray because i mean i can't think of any other name other than that and unfortunately i had to start all over again because i don't know what the heck happened but all i know is that like, by the time I kind of went to bed and had the game shut down, didn't think of anything else, I was about to play it on another day, and it turns out it didn't save the game. It didn't save to this checkpoint. It did when I actually start over for chapter one, but it didn't save on this part. So now, uh, I might actually upload, like, of the segments where I actually completed like um, like the music sheets and the uh, clue to that key safe thing too because that was the most difficult thing I was having issues with. Get rid of them. Oh, wait. There, there. There you go. Wait, can I climb? Nope. Whew. All right. Oh, dear. They're not going to jump on this wall, are they? Oh, yeah. They oh, no. always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums, but people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their houses. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like the outside. I think it helped. Ooh, so there's like, like a major memory I gotta look for and then one more, I think from here. And all I could think of in this story is like, um, uh, what do you call it? Maybe how Tokyo or maybe even New York, but uh, I, I can only think of Tokyo because that's like the only place that has all the neon bright lights next to New York having be the, well, with the title, um, the city that never sleeps and it always have like all the lights on there. But with Tokyo, on the other hand, all you see is like literally neon lights on there on their place, like, in their town. Mainly, uh, Tokyo. So, that's the only thing I could think of that... that basically have the, uh, neon lights. 
there anything else I'm supposed to get from here? Outlook looks like. Neko Corporation. I bet that's the company that basically messed everything up. That's all I could think of right now is like their fault that they did this kind of damage to the to this uh, town here. Oh dear. Something tells me this is gonna be the nesting grounds or something for these things. So, I'm pretty much guessing and I'm confirming maybe that this alien things are the Zorks that they were talking about. Whoa, 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 whoa! No! Oh, run, run, kitty, run, run! Okay, uh... Oh, no! Not the... Not back here! Not back here! No! Go on! Go on! Oh! Oh! Back to the horse! Why? Why? Oh! Okay. Back this way! This way! get this first before those things get me. <laughs> Neko Corp. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slum, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it. I was right! This is... Oh! Every corporation that tried to solve 
anything. They're the freaking responsible for disasters like this. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating way more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. Yep, I was definitely right about it. Okay. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on! What? What the heck happened to them? these sloppy noises. I don't know what the heck happened to them. Wait. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, I see, I see, I see. There we go. I didn't understand what, what was that for, but now I know. Okay, oh, oh. Okay, okay, run, run. I find like another memory or clue or something. I'm really worried about this one. Okay. Let me just move my stuff a little bit so I have like running space or so. Alright. Let's go, Stray. We got it. Oh, we gotta survive until- Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no, no, no. Oh, they pop! That's what those organic noises was- Was- They pop!
down. We gotta figure out how to. I had to get myself up in that cage. Get out of this way. Yep. Here it is. Put the transceiver on the antenna. before we head back to the slum. Okay, 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 okay. I just thought I could find some clue here, that's all. Okay, now we could go to that little bucket. Look, the view is beautiful from here. I remember now, the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the geometric roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now, this is my purpose, I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Oh man. Oh, yes! Another fragment unlocked. Jeez. He's not joking. This is unique. Oh, thank God. There I was really worried it's gonna, like, oh, that's the end. You gotta wait until part, uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> well, not there it is, but I was really worried that, oh, you gotta wait for another chapter for it to upload, but nope. This is Slum Part 2. Thank goodness. Now the only thing we have to worry about, um, uh, is... It still stays like like this when we get 
uh, when I close the game. Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open is quite simple. It is. Oh heck, I can't even repeat that. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Just in case though, I wanted to see if there's anything else that I want to take advantage out of. about it. Come on. Here the lock of the window, the code was hmm. I think it was H I think Error, wrong key. Whoops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. And then there was an O, or was that a zero? Let's try. Succeed! Success! It worked! Momo is at the bar waiting for us. Alright, let's get to. Let's go meet up Momo. And there's still the paint on the floor. He is still cleaning that mess. Okay. Wasn't there another gizmo that could help me get down a bit? There you go. There you go. Hey, little furball! <laughs> Come here. I managed to get a signal. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, man. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Oh, yeah. And the guy puts on the best freaking background techno music just for, just for this scene. <laughs> oh, God. What the... I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slum. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zaltabar? Momo? I, I can't believe it! I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zaltabar! Where are you? And the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Shh. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Shh. It's very dangerous. Shh. Zerks everywhere. Oh no. Sewers. How? Hello? Darn it! We've lost the signal. I can't believe that Zazabar is still alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the snow, but if Zaltabar made it, there must be a way. Hmm? Oh, so now the guy is able to talk this time. 
Seamus. Huh. That's a new nickname. Anyways, you'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Samus. Seamus. I don't know which one's better, Samus or Seamus. I'll just say Seamus, but if I said Samus, sorry. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebooks, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be what he was working on. That must be where he was working on it. <laughs> the cat. There might be a clue to Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Yes! What's of attention and adventure! Yay! I like this casual walk. Yep. Come on, Seamus. Open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you. I think I have an idea. Ooh, I wonder what kind of idea would that be. Oh! A pathway! Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as a electroshock. Find a secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish the communication with the others. Alright! Next! Next! Room! Yay! Oh, you know what? I just realized. Oh. I was really hoping there was going to be some new memories uh, unlocked. Oh, press wrong button. But, let's see. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing in here? I told you. Getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. Well, what's this? Wait, is this my papa's? My papa's? Oh, wow. I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? That's what I was trying to look for, but I apparently accidentally knocked something. Wait. Nope. Come on. <laughs> His reaction is so funny. Oh, this has got to be Dr. Seamus' picture together. Oh, 
<laughs> Time will tell. You know what? And I just saw in the split second of that picture, too. But... Why... Why does it make it seem like... Like the picture... And him... Doctor and Cena's. Why do they remind me of freaking um, <laughs> uh, Back to the Future? Uh, Doctor and uh, oh god, what is that guy's name? I don't even remember the kid's name. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. But aside from that, I can also think of another two characters uh, that's easily recognizable. Except clothing-wise, no. And some of you probably know who I'm referring to. Of course, Fickle Rick and Morty. Oh, shoot. Um, I've never noticed that, digi that digicode before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. Oh, dear. Uh Wait. Uh, I don't know if that's the time that they're referring to. Time will tell. Or it could be something else. I I can't I can't get out. Uh. Okay, then, um, let's see. Oh, there's four times. Okay, um, two, five, one, one. Let's see if that works. Two, five, one, one. There we go. to hide it from me all this time. It's blueprints. There must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slum and he never came back. Robots News Headline Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. X. Defluxer Blueprint Concept Light Base Handgun Low Priority Visual Appearance Size Dissectable Acceptable and nibbit. I can't pronounce these words. High prox proxy. Uh, test in real condition. Objective 20 Zergs destroy per second. Okay, what was the point of that knock? Wait. Uh. Let's see if what he says. Find anything interesting in here? Oh, wait. No. Uh, where should... Wait. Ah, come on! Uh, 
Oh, uh, there's gotta be a clue or something. A jack observes observation. Cute sound, but never friendly. Old bacteria of, of human time. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to the intense light. Okay, what was the purpose of knocking that thing down? I feel like there is something I'm missing, but I can't figure out what it is. I find something in here. Thought that would be it, but no. Where's Where's that box? There's got to be a clue here. <laughs> Unless um, we're probably done from here and we could head out. Darn it!
to see. Okay, none of these, none of these are helping me. I don't know what to do from here. Oh! Okay, I didn't see that till now. There we go! Now we got somewhere. Come on. Yes, we do. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. Oh, and now we get the hell with the old man. I don't know if you guys actually remember, but I actually made a bonus section where um, we actually completed all the clues. And now uh, the old man actually gave us permission to, uh, well, if we ever have issues, we can give it to him. And now we got a reason to. Right. Okay, let's go up. Let's see. Let's see. Where is the old man? The old man. The old man. Hey, wait. Is it this way? Tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update and one more thing. Voila! There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. Yes! Alright, now. I almost freaked out thinking like, oh, he blocked me. How? How did he block me? Okay. I'm looking for down, not up. I'm really struggling to get the connection back. Do you find anything interesting as famous? Sorry, I don't know how to use that. Ah, come on. Okay, let's head back. <laughs> Sorry. Did you manage to fix that tractor? Yes, we did. You did it. You fixed it. Well done. Give it here. got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. All right. Hang on though. I know we're trying to look for his dad, but 
would it make more sense if we have like a weapon with us instead of just blindly going? My best bet is gonna take us to that room over there. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Oh man, but you don't have yourself a weapon. You only have your dad's gun uh, weapon to defend himself with the Zerg. You don't. Oh man, you are following us. Shoot. <laughs> Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fat as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. Gain new item. Yes, an outsider badge. I'll open the door for you. Look like we're close to the surface, but I honestly doubt that. But that didn't sound right. Ooh, okay, I see another memory. Look how huge this wall is. I remember, it was a symbol of division between those in the slum and in Midtown. That, and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Looks like we got two more memories we gotta gain. Survive this dead end. Oh, uh oh, uh, run! Oh, what, what, what? Uh, uh, run! No, 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 my mouse! What the heck happened? Why did it do that? Okay, I guess we gotta start over again, but I don't know why my mouse went like that. I literally tried to move it and I couldn't move it. My mouse! My, my poor little kitty friend. There we go. Okay, well, here goes nothing. 
There we go. Whoa! 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 Oh, that's because I'm not controlling. I, I don't know why I answer my own question. Okay, now I know what to do. That was the chair, that wasn't me. You know, just in case, I, I feel like I need to change the setting a bit. I need to change the controls, let's see. If I could, I could change the run with V. There we go. Yes. And now we can continue. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. What am I doing? What the heck, man? What did I do wrong? Oh, wait. There you go. Okay, press V. Frustrating. Okay, you know what? Let me see if I could change the setting real quick. Um, uh, no. Uh, What about, um, there we go. Let's see if that works. Okay, hang on. say I got this now.
Come on, no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? What's F? What is what is F? I don't know what the command for F is. Oh wait. Let's see if this works. This seems this Okay, this is way better now. Okay, pull my keyboards out now. I'm getting this serious now because my poor kitty's dying up. Oh, I don't know how many times I already died. I think this is like my seventh. Okay, hang on. I just want to make sure I'm getting this right. All right. Let's do this. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. was definitely right on the money uh, saying that he can't have himself go. should be nearby. We must be close. Oh, thank God. We survived that monstrous mess. Oh, I'm limping. I'm hurt. Looks like I'm okay now. They were. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, another memory. The scientist I used to work for always says he wanted to retire to a little cottage, fishing all day long. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we get the outside, when we get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientists would have wanted. But first, we should we should go find Doc. Now we need la one more memory, and we should be able to complete the memory log. This is one unique scenery. electric generator, but it seems to require some other parts to function. And I would say, just give me a moment and I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I just had to go do some, you know, Mother Nature calls. Let's see. We need to find a battery pack or something to get this uh, thing going. be able to find one somewhere around here. Oh, that does not sound good. It sounded like a wee bit alien. Okay. Okay, I can jump back up. I don't see one here. Let's see what's going in here. Wait, is 
is that? Doc! Whoa. Wait, you're not a Zerg. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son? Did my son? Did my son? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you're a clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. What do you mean? You have... Oh, wait. He just said about something wrong with this deflector, did he? I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noises. He's talking about Halloween. Oh, yes. I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? And we just completed that one! Yay! Now we just need to... Hey, be careful with that deflector. At full charge, it can explode Zorks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work. <laughs> and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is a generator outside of the house. The problem is, is that it won't start. I think the fuse blew. And with all the Zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach a generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the deflector recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. He went upstairs, didn't he? Nope, right there. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect this is some sort. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the deflector. You just need to follow this cable. Change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Alright. Let's see if we can get this deflector uh, generator working.
enough that he can kill him. <laughs> Amazing! You got the generator back on! Have you seen how powerful the deflector is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount the deflectorator onto your drone. <laughs> it worked! The deflector is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. <laughs> Wait, just in case. Ha! It works. Take out all the Zergs so we can get through. Wow, it's working great, but as I suspect, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. Looks like the electricity has been cut. <laughs> no worries, man. Alright. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. this works. Nope. Oh, there it is. We need to go in there. Come on. In there you go, in you go. Let's go back home. Man, 
that was a close one. I thought I was gonna die again. Please tell me that's not the way to... No! We, we've been to that door before. The, the door I'm thinking of, it's, it's not the same door. The Guardian. Seamus! Saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alo alone. Now we know we that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Hi Teddy, what's up Rosie? Oh Billy. Do you know my son Seamus? It's thanks to him that I came back from that dang place. Yeah sure, I'm so happy he's back. Oh What the heck is this? Look at all the great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should go visit the bar barterman. He there's something for everyone over there. Yep, he wasn't joking about that. Oh, I thought there was my more tasks for me to do on that one. Okay. Benzo. Momo is waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted in here? Because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any Zerks coming through. I want to say yes. But I don't know. This guy, he sh popped something up and... Okay, let's just say the same thing. Eh, just in case, let's see. No new memories added. So that might be it. Oh my god, that is so heartwarming there. I think that's it, man. Go ahead. Yep, there it goes. Oh, there. Come on. I don't even know how long I've been recording this already. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm going to save this as a another chapter here. My god. I'm so crying because of that. But now Doc is back. 
he upgraded our little droid as a weapon now instead of just uh, use of a flashlight and we we able to um, defend ourselves with these zerg things nothing to worry about as of now which is a good thing so with Momo there we'll probably have to wait until next time and I'm worried about <laughs> turning this game off and having to start over again so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now so my god that was like tearjerker on the freaking father and son thing but like I like we'll have to wait until next time I know the title is gonna be uh, almost losing nine nine lives that's gonna be the closest title I'll get on this one I'll see y'all next time for part three of Stray, and let's see what happens and if we get back to our family as well as figure out how to get rid of these things once and for all and the humans and reuniting with the other group, etc, etc. Bye-bye!